Happy Halloween, everybody. And welcome to uh, DevCon 2018, Prague edition. Uh, is everybody good? Did y'all get some little, uh, little, you get some breakfast, get some little sandwiches with the crust cut off, like mom used to do. Uh, we are really excited that you're here. Uh, this is super insane. This stage is very large. Uh, and uh, we have a really fun morning planned for you. And I'm your host. My name is Jonathan Mann. And I'm a songwriter. And uh, I write a song a day. And one of the things I do in that capacity as the song a day guy, as I'm sometimes called, uh, is I make um, songs for conferences uh, like this one. Very often, these songs that I do, these conferences are in industries that I kind of don't really know anything about, or frankly, no offense to them, but like care about. Like, um, you know, uh, speech language pathology and um, home health care and carpet salesmen and things of this nature. But that's not the case today, and I'm really excited to tell you about that and why that is. But first, I'm going to introduce myself a little bit. Like I said, my name is Jonathan Mann. I'm a songwriter. My favorite food is pizza. Yeah, pizza. Let's hear it for pizza. My favorite color is purple, as is evidenced by this song that I wrote one time called All My Shirts Are Purple. You get the idea. It goes on like this for a while. So, um, uh, my parents are both psychologists, which is maybe not surprising, but um, uh, this is them exactly four years ago on Halloween. Four years ago, uh, they were Freud. My dad was Freud, and my mom had a little sign on her that said slip. Come on. They're my parents, they're dumb, but I love them. Um, uh, this is my family. I live with my family, my wife and my two kids in Jersey City, right outside of New York. Um, a little bit of history about me. Uh, in the mid-2000s, I was writing and performing a rock opera based on the Super Mario Brothers around Los Angeles. Indeed, thank you. Um, and a little while after that, I was making early YouTube videos as uh, Game Jew. And Game Jew went around and sang songs about video games and interviewed people about video games. And Game Jew's two biggest achievements um, were waiting 36 hours in line to be the first person to get a Wii on the West Coast. <laughs> yeah, I did that. Uh, rather, he did that. Um, and uh, I tracked him down. Some might say stalked, which I think is a little strong. But I tracked down Shigeru Miyamoto, creator of Mario, Donkey Kong, and Zelda, and every game that you love. You guys know who Shigeru Miyamoto is. I wrote him a song, I tracked him down, some might say stalked, and I sang it to him in a hallway. And he was very gracious. So that was my biggest achievement as, as Game Jew by far. Um, Thank you. So, uh, in late 2008, almost exactly 10 years ago, you know, I just looked it up. Today is actually the 10th anniversary today of the Bitcoin white paper, October 31st. How, how auspicious is that? So, right around that time, I was living, this is around that time, I was living in Berkeley, California, and I was unemployed. It was the height of the financial crash. I was sort of done with Game Jew. <laughs> Once you sing to Miyamoto, it's like, where else are you going to go, frankly? Uh, and so I was looking for a new project. And I decided that starting in January, I was going to write a song a day. 31 songs, 31 days, January, post on the YouTube. That was going to be my next project. So I did that. I did 31 days, and it was going pretty well. So I decided to try for a year. And uh, all of 2009 came and went, and I decided to just keep going, and going, and going. And that is how I stand <laughs> before you now, having written 
3,591 songs in as many days. Thank you very much. I'm in the Guinness Book of World Records. This is true. They made a new category for me called Most Consecutive Days Writing a Song, which didn't exist before I did it. And as long as I keep going, and no one's, no one, yeah, as long as I keep going, I think I'm going to hold it for a while because someone would have had to start younger. What? Yeah, longest chain, exactly. Longest chain, un unbroken chain. It's exactly right. Uh, one of the animating theories behind Song of Day is called 70 20 10. And this applies to any creative endeavor, including the things that you all do in this room, which is 70% of everything you make is going to be mediocre, 20% is going to be bad, shitty, throw it out, and 10% is going to be great. So the more songs I write, the more songs end up in that 10% category. That's my theory anyway. Um, about a year ago, I was at a conference in the backwoods of Canada, northern Ontario. It was very cold. I was singing in front of a lake. And uh, one of the tracks at this conference was cryptocurrency. You all remember what was happening this time last year. Things were going a little, little crazy, a little nuts. My impression of the whole situation was but, you know, gave me the heebie-jeebies, the finance bros, frankly, and the, you know, Lambos and the speculation. So I was like, eh, whatever. Out of the woods came walking this Ethereum magician. Uh, he was not called that at the time, but that's what he was. And he took me under his wing. And this is a true story. He showed me CryptoPunks and blew my mind. Um, I got really excited by this thing that someone had built on the blockchain um, that was fun and interesting and unique and weird, and I loved it. Uh, this Ethereum magician gave me $40 in Ether and said, go play with this. And I spent many long hours on Telegram with him saying things like, Okay, like, what, uh, so what's gas? And um, what am I being asked to accept slash reject here? And did it work? Did that go through? I'm really confused by all these things that are popping up on my screen and yelling at me in MetaMask. Sorry, MetaMask. <laughs> but that was my experience. But I, I bought my first CryptoPunk. His name is Lucky Dan. And I fell completely down the rabbit hole. I became obsessed with the idea of digital scarcity. I uh, became obsessed with the idea of like what gives things value. I have my, I've been working for the last year on my own NFT project based on CryptoPunks, where I'm tokenizing every single song from Song A Day and releasing them as a one of one collectible. I started a podcast, yes, a podcast, big surprise, uh, called Digitally Rare about digital scarcity. And um, two weeks ago, I was at the NFT Summit in San Francisco, where I met Aya Miyaguchi, who you hear from in just a minute, and um, she invited me to come here and make a song for you all. And so that's, uh, that's what I've done. Thank you. Don't clap yet, you haven't heard the song, all right? Okay. Um, so, this is the song. This is the official uh, DevCon 2018 Prague Edition theme song. This is the chorus. We're going to learn the chorus. We're all going to sing it together. I'll, I'll sing it first to teach you, and then you guys are all going to sing it with me. Uh, and, then, and then I'm going to bring Aya up on stage, and she's going to talk, and Vitalik's going to talk. There's going to be a bunch of talks. And then I'll be back at the end of this morning session to recap everything that we just heard in the talks along with this chorus. So the chorus goes like this. B U I D L Casper's coming ETH 2.0 new ways to govern. Those radical markets are calling to you. Don't I see you when there's work to do? You gotta be you I B U I B U I D L. Gotta be you I B U I. Gotta be you I D L. So that's it. That's the chorus. Thank you. Thank you. So now, 
Let's just sing it a couple times. Let's just get it into our brains. Let's, let's, let's get that in there. I didn't put the B-U-I-D-L part, the where, part where I repeat that, because it's just spelling it out, which I figured you guys can handle. So um, let's work on it. So here we go. One, the B is like a lead-in. So it goes B-U-I-D-L. Does that make sense? All right. One, two, three. B-U-I-D-L. Casper's coming east. 2.0 new ways to govern. Not yet. Not yet. You can't take it away yet, guys. Okay, that's for the next part. Let's try it again. I want to hear you much louder. I know you guys can do this. All right. One, two, three. B-U-I-T-L. Casper's coming east. 2.0 new ways to govern. Black markets are coming to you. Don't ICO when there's work to do. You got to be you. Very good, except you're singing way too soft. So let's try the whole thing again. One, two, three. B-U-I-D-L. Casper's come east. Markets are coming to you. There's work to do. You gotta be. Very good. Gotta be you. are getting it. I, I sense some hesitancy. Thank you. But you guys will get it. Okay. Just one more thing before I leave the stage. We need to, this is the sponsored portion of the song. Uh, so I'm going to say the name of a sponsor tier and you're going to alternate ooh and ah. So, so for instance, I will say sponsor Sponsor, not yet, not yet, bring it back, bring it back. Sponsor. Sponsor. That's it, okay, you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Serenity. Metropolis. Homestead. Frontier. Scholarship and grant. Olympic. Serenity again. <laughs> Metropolis again. Homestead. Ooh, bring it up. Bring up your oohs and ahs. Frontier. Scholarship and grant. Olympic. Oh, yeah. You guys are good. Thank you. Thank you very much.